Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a little review on what I think is hands down the best travel palette I have ever seen. It puts everything else to shame. There are many good palettes in the world that you can travel with. They have all the colors you really want. A good beige color, a good warm brown transition shade, a good dark brown, a good black, whatever. And you know, to get all that you have a pretty big palette. And those are great. But this is hands down i could go on a vacation not a really long one because i would want more options but a weekend an extended weekend even a week and other than like your general face makeup your foundation your concealer your powder eyebrows mascara and lips this would be the only thing you need to take the only thing are you ready it is the Lorac pro to go palette now I realize this is nothing new. I just jumped on the bandwagon and at first I was like why do I need that? I have the pro palette. I don't need that. And then I saw a few more videos on it and I thought hmm I'm gonna give it a try. And Sephora has quit carrying Lorac. They'd already pulled out at my local Sephora or I um, would have you know because I know it was on sale at the ones that still had it. And then when I looked on Ulta's website it was out of stock and Nordstrom it said they didn't have it so I don't know if it's discontinued or if you can only I know they're selling Lorac at Kohl's or they're supposed to I don't really have a Kohl's close by so I don't go to it so I looked on Amazon and they had it and I paid close to the retail I don't know what it is but I will put it right here it might have been excuse me I had the hiccups it might have been a few dollars cheaper but anyways I got it and I was gonna film a look for you but I had I, I couldn't today I couldn't film the look but I did use it to do my makeup today so I will show you that um if you are interested I will do a get ready with me using this but um anyways so it's this size you open it up and there is a mirror and then you have six shades of eyeshadow and then in the back you have two blushes and a bronzer so you can open it like that or you can do this and have it flat out while you're getting ready which I think that is just the neatest thing and there is a large mirror over here and it comes with two brushes one looks like a like an angular slanted I guess you could use for eyeliner and then a little shadow brush I haven't used either of those but I mean that would be nice if you were traveling so anyways I've used it a few times and I feel like I can give a pretty good review on it um, I'll just tell you what I used today. Okay, first off, on the eyeshadows, I'll get close so you can get the bottom three are mattes, the top three are shimmer. You have a shimmery whitish color, you have a shimmery mid tone, kind of, I guess, like goldy, like kind of like woodwinked, but not so orange and a shimmery dark brown. You have a matte bone color, a matte warmish brown good transition color, and a matte black. That right there, I mean that's to do a quick look for a travel palette, that's all you need. Today, I won't tell you the order in which I did it. I did this chai color all over the lid and this is gorgeous. I used Cafe, which is this, um, matte mid-tone brown well it's kind of a lighter to mid-tone brown in the crease and then i use the beige color shell to highlight and to kind of blend everything else out and i don't know how well my eye makeup translates on camera i have hooded eyes but it i mean it was a really good warm tone i'm looking in a mirror at it um eye color i really like to wear warm tones on my eyes i have green eyes and it really brings out the green and then I used, I think I just used Cafe under my bottom lash line. So that was all I used. And I did use that um, brightening pencil on my lower waterline. Then for my cheeks, I used the bronzer called Bronze all over down here and up here to give me a little bit of warmth. And I used the Coral Blush, which Bronze is matte and the Pink Blush is matte. But coral has some shimmer. 
I don't know if you can tell. I used that as my blush and then I went up back to the eyeshadows and I used Pearl, which is the shimmery kind of whitish champagne. It's it's a light champagne. I used Pearl as my highlight on my cheekbones. So you can do this, I mean, you can use this on your lid all over. You can use it to highlight on your brow bone if you really like it. I don't like shimmery shades on my brow bone. And you can use it in your inner corner. But I mean, that right there, that pan, you can use that to highlight your face. You have your bronzer, which could be used as contour all over bronzer. You have two shades of blush. You have a warmer shade that has some shimmer. And then you have the cooler shade, pink, that's matte. You can use either of these two light shades all over your lid and just use this through the crease for a really natural defined eye. You can do like I did today and use that chai color all over your lid for a little bit of color without being too smoky. Or you could add this brown mink shade. You could kind of do that on your lid if you really wanted a real smoky eye. You could add this in the outer corner. You could do that in your crease if you wanted to. And then you have the black that you can do I mean, you can do anything with the black that you want to, but you can use that as your eyeliner. You could use mink as your eyeliner. You could use mink under your lower lash line. I mean, you could do so much with this. When I say that you, I could truly go on a trip and only take this palette, I mean, I could and get away with it. Now, if I was going away for a week, I'd probably want to take a few other things because I get a little bored, but I mean, I just... I love this. I cannot sing its praises enough. And for somebody like me that has so much makeup to think something this simple is that great, that says a lot about it. Um, other than this, today all I used was a black eyeliner to tight line. I used a nude color down here. I used my mascara. I did my eyebrows and I used a lipstick. And um, as far as the quality on these, I've used them a few times. I have the Lorac Pro Palette. And other than when you get your brush in it, there is a lot of fallout, so you want to be careful. I mean, be sure to tap it off before going straight to your eye, or you would have some fallout down your face. But as long as I tap it off, I I don't really notice any fallout. They stay all day. I do use an eye primer, eyelid primer underneath it, but I could use the most expensive eyeshadow in the world and need an eyelid primer. Um, I mean, they are powdery when applying with your blush, but as long as you just... You know tap off the ex excess then you're good to go so I just wanted to give everybody a heads up in case it is being discontinued in case you don't know about it if you travel a lot want a palette you know whatever it is great I love it I love it so that is all I just wanted to do this quick little review in case you know with summer coming up and everybody going on vacations and traveling or hoping to so that is all I will see you guys later bye